hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into one of the most fascinating and rapidly evolving military landscapes in the world. Israel's top five next generation superweapons that experts believe will dominate the battlefield by 2030. Israel has always been known for pushing technological boundaries, but what's coming next is on a completely different level. These systems are not just upgrades, they are radical leaps forward, combining artificial intelligence, cutting, edge sensors, hypersonic technologies, directed energy and autonomous warfare. Over the next few minutes, we're going deep into what these systems are, how they work, and why global powers are paying close attention to them. Israel has maintained a unique strategic posture for decades, surrounded by threats on multiple fronts, and forced to innovate at a pace many other nations simply cannot match. This constant pressure has resulted in one of the most advanced defense industries in the world. Israeli defense companies like Rafael, Israel Aerospace Industries and Elbit Systems are deeply integrated into the country's military structure, allowing rapid development, testing and deployment of advanced systems. This tight loop between battlefield needs and technological solutions is exactly why Israel is set to introduce superweapons that will redefine warfare in the region and beyond by 2030. One of the biggest drivers behind these new technologies is AI. Israel is investing heavily in artificial intelligence for battlefield awareness, autonomous decision, making and precision engagement. The goal is to drastically reduce human reaction time and create systems capable of analyzing threats faster than any soldier or pilot could. By 2030, these systems will allow Israel to detect, track, and neutralize threats at near-instant speeds. Combined with breakthrough sensors and high-speed data networks, Israel aims to build a defense grid where every radar, drone, vehicle, and soldier communicates seamlessly, forming a real-time digital shield. The first major superweapon that will shape the future is the next generation iron beam laser defense system. Israel has been developing laser weapons for years, but the new version planned for 2030 is expected to be significantly more powerful, more mobile, and capable of defending against some of the toughest threats yet. The iron beam uses directed energy to destroy incoming rockets, drones, and mortar shells at the speed of light, but the upgraded system will go far beyond that, adding capabilities to intercept faster, bigger, and more maneuverable objects. The coming version is expected to reach higher altitudes and longer ranges, creating a laser-based defensive bubble. Instead of relying solely on interceptors like Iron Dome missiles, lasers will allow Israel to fire unlimited shots as long as power is available, dramatically reducing cost per interception. Experts believe this could change the entire balance of missile warfare in the Middle East. One of the most important features of this future iron beam is mobility. Unlike earlier versions that required ground-based stations, the new design aims to be mounted on armored vehicles, ships, and potentially even airborne platforms. That means Israel could move laser defenses closer to its borders, its coastlines, or wherever emerging threats appear. The system will also integrate aid-driven optical tracking to improve accuracy. Instead of human operators selecting targets, the system will automatically identify and prioritize multiple threats simultaneously. By 2030, it could operate almost fully autonomously, making it far more efficient during large, scale attacks. Another key breakthrough is power. Laser weapons require massive amounts of energy, and Israel is investing in compact high power generators and advanced cooling systems. This new tech will allow continuous firing without overheating. As the threat of drone swarms grows across the world, especially in conflict zones, a megawatt-class laser like the next Gen Iron Beam could neutralize dozens of drones in seconds. This is why military observers from around the world consider it one of Israel's most impactful future superweapons. The second superweapon on the list is Israel's secretive hypersonic missile program. While Israel has not publicly confirmed all details, Multiple defense analysts agree the country is racing toward developing hypersonic strike capabilities by 2030. A hypersonic missile travels at speeds above Mach 5 and can maneuver unpredictably, making it extremely difficult to intercept. Nations like Russia, China, and the United States are already investing heavily, and Israel is expected to join them with its own high-precision, fast-strike system designed for rapid response in height. 
threat environments. Israel's hypersonic weapon is believed to be built with advanced guidance systems capable of adjusting trajectory mid-flight to avoid interception. Using AI-enhanced navigation, the missile will be able to locate Hive, Al, U targets such as missile launchers, command centers, and long-range rocket sites hidden deep underground or far from Israel's borders. The goal is to strike quickly before an enemy can relocate or fire. Its speed, combined with real-time targeting data from satellites and drones, will give Israel unprecedented reach and accuracy. This future hypersonic system is also expected to include stealth features. Special materials and shaping techniques can reduce radar visibility, allowing it to travel through contested airspace undetected. Some analysts speculate Israel may be developing both boost glide vehicles and air breathing hypersonic cruise missiles, giving flexibility for different missions. By 2030, Israel could use these weapons for strategic deterrence, counter-terror operations, and even preemptive defense in extreme scenarios. Hypersonic weapons will send a strong message to adversaries that long-range threats cannot be deployed without risk. The third major superweapon shaping Israel's future military edge is the Carmel Next Generation A-driven armored vehicle program, Carmel is not just a tank upgrade, it is a complete reimagining of how ground warfare will look. Unlike traditional tanks requiring large crews and manual operation, the Carmel uses artificial intelligence to drastically reduce workload. The goal is to have only two soldiers operate the entire vehicle through advanced touchscreens, helmet-mounted displays and automated targeting systems. Everything inside the vehicle becomes digital, with panoramic sensors feeding information into an AI brain that identifies threats, navigates terrain, and recommends actions to the crew. The Carmel platform is designed to be small, fast, stealthy, and extremely lethal. Its lightweight armor and hybrid electric engine will allow silent movement in urban environments. This is crucial for Israel's potential future conflicts, where combat often occurs in cities and requires precise, Locolateral weaponry. The new vehicle will also include active protection systems capable of detecting and destroying incoming missiles before they reach the hull. By 2030, these systems will likely use predictive algorithms that anticipate enemy fire and automatically reposition the vehicle. One of the most futuristic aspects of the Carmel program is modularity. Israel wants a universal platform that can be outfitted for different missions. In some variants, the vehicle may operate entirely unmanned turning into a robotic tank capable of scouting dangerous zones without risking soldiers' lives. Other variants could carry drone launchers, electronic warfare equipment, or anti-tank missile turrets. The Carmel is expected to be integrated into Israel's broader battlefield network, sharing sensor data with drones, aircraft, and ground troops. This will allow the vehicle to be part of a fully connected combat system where decisions are made faster than the enemy can react. The fourth superweapon on Israel's horizon is a class of autonomous drone swarms. Israel already produces some of the most advanced drones in the world, but what's coming next is a revolution. Instead of relying on individual drones flown by operators, future swarm systems will use hundreds of small, fast, intelligent drones operating together like a digital flock. Each drone in the swarm communicates with others using AI algorithms, allowing them to coordinate movements, share data, and complete complex missions without constant human control. These drones will be capable of identifying targets, avoiding obstacles, and adapting to changing battlefield conditions in real time. With miniaturized sensors, facial recognition systems, and encrypted data links, the swarms can track multiple threats at once. Israel plans to use them for surveillance, precision strikes, electronic warfare, and even missile interception. One of the most important features is redundancy, if a few drones are destroyed, the rest continue the mission. This makes them extremely difficult to defeat. By 2030, Israel's drone swarms will likely integrate with ground units and air defenses, creating a dynamic, multi-layered shield. During conflict, swarms could overwhelm enemy defenses, collect intelligence from dangerous positions, or deliver pinpoint strikes against moving targets. Some variants may include loitering munitions, capable of waiting quietly over an area until a target appears. Others could carry jammers to blind enemy radars and disrupt communications. As these systems evolve, they may play a central role in Israel's counter, terror and counter, 
insurgency operations, where accuracy and minimizing collateral damage are essential. The fifth major superweapon Israel is expected to field by 2030 is a next-generation space-based defense network. Israel already operates advanced satellites for surveillance and communication, but the upcoming systems will be far more powerful. Instead of simply observing, future satellites will integrate AI processing, real-time tracking, and secure data fusion. This means threats like ballistic missiles, hypersonic glide vehicles, enemy drones, and even cyber attacks could be detected within seconds of launch or activation. A space-based early warning network will give Israel a huge advantage. For example, satellites equipped with infrared sensors can spot missile launches anywhere in the region instantly. They can then relay data to ground systems like Arrow 3, David Sling, and Iron Dome, allowing defenses to react faster. By 2030, Israel's satellites may also include onboard AI systems that filter threats automatically, reducing the load on human analysts. These satellites will form the backbone of a larger digital command structure, connecting the Air Force, Navy, ground troops, and intelligence services into a unified operational picture. Some analysts believe Israel may go a step further and develop offensive space capabilities, such as electronic warfare satellites that can jam enemy communications or even disable hostile satellites using non-kinetic means. Others speculate about micro, satellites capable of maneuvering in orbit for inspection and defense missions. Even if Israel keeps these efforts classified, it is clear that space will play a far more active role in its national security strategy. With cyber attacks increasing and missile threats becoming more complex, a strong space layer could prove decisive. Beyond these five superweapons, Israel is also investing in emerging technologies that complement them. One example is quantum, encrypted communications which will make hacking nearly impossible. Another area is high, powered microwave weapons designed to disable enemy electronics without causing physical damage. Israel is also developing advanced cyber, defense and cyber, defense tools capable of shutting down enemy infrastructure or preventing attacks before they begin. The combination of physical and digital warfare gives Israel a multi-dimensional advantage few nations possess. Artificial intelligence remains at the center of this transformation. Every superweapon Israel is building relies on AI in some form. For lasers, AI helps track and prioritize targets. For hypersonic missiles, it ensures precision at extreme speeds. For armored vehicles, it simplifies complex operations. For drone swarms, it allows coordination among hundreds of units. For satellites, it processes massive amounts of data instantly. By 2030, some experts believe Israel may deploy fully autonomous weapon systems with minimal human involvement, although ethical and legal considerations will shape how far these systems can go. One major challenge Israel faces is adapting international law and operational doctrine to these new technologies. Autonomous weapons raise questions about accountability and decision-making. Israel is working with allies and defense partners to establish guidelines that ensure new systems operate within ethical boundaries. At the same time, Israel must stay ahead of adversaries that may not follow the same rules. This balance between innovation and responsibility will be one of the key factors shaping Israel's military strategy. Another challenge is cost. Developing hypersonic weapons, high-power lasers, and next-gen satellites requires huge investments. Israel must prioritize which systems are most critical. However, with strong support from the United States and partnerships with European and Asian allies, Israel is well positioned to continue funding advanced defense programs. In many cases, these systems will eventually be exported to partner nations, helping offset development costs and strengthening international alliances. As we move closer to 2030, the global security environment is becoming increasingly unpredictable. Threats are evolving faster than ever, and countries must adapt quickly. Israel's approach is to stay ahead technologically, creating systems that can outperform and outmaneuver adversaries. The five superweapons we discussed today, next-gen iron beam lasers, hypersonic missiles, egg-driven caramel vehicles, autonomous drone swarms, and space-based defense networks, reprise, and the future of warfare where speed, intelligence, and precision matter more than ever before.
These technologies are not only reshaping Israel's defense strategy, but also influencing global military trends. As more nations recognize the potential of lasers, hypersonic speeds, AI autonomy, and space-based systems, we are entering a new era of military innovation. Israel's rapid development in these areas shows how smaller nations with strong technological foundations can lead in shaping the modern battlefield. By 2030, the world may witness a dramatic shift in how conflicts are fought, with Israel at the forefront of this transformation. In conclusion, Israel's next-generation superweapons represent more than just military hardware. They are part of a broader strategic vision, a vision built on innovation, adaptability, and the belief that technology can provide security in an increasingly complex world. Whether it's stopping missile barrages with lasers, striking targets at hypersonic speeds, deploying robotic vehicles, unleashing autonomous drone swarms, or defending from space, Israel is preparing for future threats with unmatched determination. As these systems become operational, they will influence military tactics, regional stability, and global power balances. Thank you all for watching and staying with us through this deep exploration of Israel's upcoming military technologies. If you enjoyed this video and want more content like this, make sure to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. We have a lot more exciting breakdowns and analyzes coming your way, so stay tuned for future uploads.